Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Going to be talking a lot about JavaScript and the Canvas element in HTML. In order to do that, I've kind of chosen uh, JS Fiddle as the environment that I want to work in. So feel free to use this environment. It's free to use, or if you want to use another editor, another IDE, feel free to use that as well. Just a quick rundown, what is the Canvas element? The Canvas element is just a nice, easy way for uh, users to, or for developers to create uh, in two-dimensional and potentially three-dimensional, but two-dimensional uh, drawings on the fly using JavaScript. And so you can create drawings, you can create animations, you can create interactive games. So we're going to kind of work through a lot of that uh, in, in this channel. By the way, if you like what we're doing, uh, feel free to subscribe. We're going to keep adding uh, a lot of tutorials to help you through this process. Okay, so let's get started. This Today on this one, we're basically going to just get everything set up to use. So in the HTML uh, document part of it here, we're going to just create a canvas element. Okay, so there it is. So it's a 2D element. Now, obviously in HTML, we would have a whole lot more uh, HTML elements that we would have, we'd have a head, a head, we'd have a body, we'd have a whole bunch more, but the beauty of using JS Fiddle is that we don't have to. We can. It's doing all the behind the scenes work for us. We can just do what we need inside of it. All right, so this canvas I'm going to give a width, and I'm going to give a width of 600, and you can give it a width of whatever you would like. It doesn't have to be 600. I'm going to just do that. This fits fairly nice on the screen here, and I'm going to give it a height of 400. Okay. And then one last thing that we will need to do in order to access this canvas, we will need to use an ID. So let's give it an ID and it can be whatever. So I'm going to give this, um, I'll give it an ID of my canvas. And again, this ID can be named whatever you would like. We'll use that later in our JavaScript. So that's the HTML side. Uh, in an HTML document, there's also the CSS. And CSS is a cascading style sheet. You don't have to use this. I'm going to use it just so that we can kind of see the border of what we're doing here. So I'm going to add a style to our canvas element. So adding a quick style to the canvas. I'm going to use a border, and it's going to be solid, one pixel, and it's going to be black. So let's if we hit run right now, you should see, there it is. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it fits. So there we have everything in there as far as the canvas is concerned. So we've got it set up in here. We're in the HTML. We've got it set up in the CSS. Now the last part that we need to do is how do we access it? Okay, and that'll be the last part of what we're doing with this one, and then we'll get on to some, some shapes. So in order to access this, we need to grab this element, grab this object. So we do that by a little one, a couple of lines of code here. We're going to create a variable to hold the canvas element. And you can call it whatever you want. I'll just use C for canvas. And I'm going to use the method document get element by ID. This is why we created an ID up here in front. So get element by ID and we called it by canvas, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so there's the first part. The second thing that we have to do to get this set up then is we need to create a context for which we're going to use this. And so I'm going to use a variable context, and I'm going to just make it short, so I'll go ctx is equal to c is the canvas element that we just got, and I'm now going to use the method get context. And in parentheses, the parameters, I'm going to say 2D. Okay, so that's all that we have at the moment. So if I hit run right now, nothing's going to change, but that's what we got. We are ready to go and get started working on it. So feel free to look through the tutorials, see which one you want to start into. I'm going to work and start from this spot every single time. Okay, thanks guys.